Hey guys, David Fine here from Keys Moths. Trying to do some walking, get some exercise. So instead of doing it out on the concrete, uh, which is literally like a hundred yards that way, I come to a park and just on this little walk, um, I figured I'd bring my phone and video some butterflies. So found some pretty cool uh, butterflies just on a short walk, downtown, urban Broward County. This is just a little city park actually a county park and we are going to show you some cool stuff so if you like the video thumbs up keep your eyes open you always see stuff and we're going to teach you how to find stuff and educate a little bit about the butterflies and moths of south florida so uh, let's get to the video check it guys queen butterfly this is what our viceroy mimics right here this is the Danaeus Gallipus. And is the uh, relative of the monarch. Feeds on the same plants. Oh, there's a couple of them. Check it out. Two queens. And I'm not sure exactly what they're doing. Anybody up? Oh, here they come. Yeah, so this is a, they feed on the same milkweed plants, uh, but they're way more common than the monarchs in most of South Florida. Uh, they live, you know, very, very prolifically out in the swamps. And oh, there's a senna, even a senna. Uh, but the cool thing about the queen and its relationship with the viceroy butterfly is that the Viceroy, instead of being bright orange, like it is in the rest of the, the rest of its range, mimicking the Monarch, down here, the Queen is more common. So instead, the Viceroy comes out much darker brown, like the Queen Butterfly, and mimics the Queen instead. So, very cool. All right. This male Queen was being a little stubborn. Still being stubborn. Doesn't want to get put on YouTube, I guess. There he is, guys. I love Bidens. And part of the problem with doing anything with Bidens is it's obviously Bidens have these, these little seeds, which is where they get the nicknamed Shepherd's Needle. And boy, oh boy, when when you're messing around with Bidens, that's what your clothes look like. Good grief. I'll be all day trying to put pluck these off. All right, let's see if I can get any better footage of our queen butterfly. Oh gosh, she's just not being cooperative at all. See, all this stuff, all this dead stuff, I think they've round up this, just the side of the trail. Now it's just got all the seeds. So if I try to reach in here to get video, my clothes are just gonna get raked with, with all this stuff here. Well. Ah. Another one called the soldier, Tanaeus Okay, I'm not getting more shepherd needles quills in me. Yeah, he does not want to be on YouTube. Yeah, so the other Tanaeus species that we have in Florida is Tanaeus erysimus, and they're very difficult to tell apart. Um, Arismus has some little tiny white or cream colored blotches. But other than that, very tough to tell them apart. There's a peacock. Get some variation in our in our video here. White peacock, everybody. The ever-present white peacock. Alright, I'm gonna go on a quick little walk and see is there any other butterflies? that we can find. This whole, this is actually a disc golf 
trail in this park and there's there's bidens all along this side of this uh thing here there's all kinds of host plants in here and there's a little canal over here so we've got some definitely some great host plant activity going on let's see if we can find any other bugs well there's a monarch all right guys i'm in hot pursuit of a monarch butterfly two monarchs yeah it's the fall so migration has happened three monarchs three monarchs guys actually one of them is a queen sorry we're at the beginning stages of our fall migration and uh, the monarch butterflies are starting to show up. Now here, we have a female gulf fritillary and it looks very much like she's, oh yeah, she's laying eggs, guys. She's laying eggs. Let me show you what she's after, okay? Right here, this is Passiflora suberosa. It's growing all in the grass, and I guess this is a well-mowed area. So they keep cutting it, but it keeps growing back. And that works out nicely because it's always pushing out new growth. And the Gulf Fertillary butterfly is taking full advantage because she is going to lay eggs. Now, Fertillaries guys lay eggs not directly on the plants, on their host plant. They actually lay eggs on neighboring plants. And it's probably so that they don't get eaten by their siblings when they're eggs or when <laughs> when they're very young. A lot of times a gulf fertility, oh, she's gonna prove me right or prove me wrong. All right, here she goes, guys. She just dropped an egg. Not on the Subarosa, but on the side of the Subarosa. How cool. She is being very cooperative. Yeah, so, so she just laid an egg. Guys, let me show you where she laid the egg. She laid an egg on this little twig right here. I'm not see if, sure if you can see the egg. The little yellow egg right here on this little twig. It's not on Subarosa. It's not on the host plant. The host plant is right here. And the reason they do that is because, oh, there she is again. Vice, uh, I'm sorry, zebras and Julia's, they lay eggs directly on the plant. And their, their caterpillars, when they hatch, they just eat everything. So if the Gulf Artillery lays its egg directly on the plant, the egg and small caterpillars might get eaten. So instead, they lay their eggs on little twigs and pieces of leaf on the sides of the host plant. So the caterpillars, when they hatch, they can just crawl a short distance and find all the host plant they need and they don't get eaten in the process. So that's cool. I, I've, you know, I got to see this Gulf Artillery She's just chilling here, man. She's like super happy. Doesn't mind that I'm here. And she's just going to town because there's a, this whole thing of grass right here is covered with Passiflora suberosa, but just little tiny sprit, you know, sprigs that come up about that big. Very, very cool. Okay, we got multiple female golf artilleries here, guys. They know where to come for their host plant. Right in the grass. Yeah, I'm, many, many people walk right past these and little do they know they're probably stepping on butterfly caterpillars. Okay, here she goes. She's relentlessly looking for more host plant. She is looking, looking, looking. White peacock interfering. 
All right, I don't see any Subarosa here. I don't know where she's really going here. She knows better than I do. Okay, let's see. I gotta make sure I'm not late. I gotta pick up my kids, come down by the water and see what's going on down here. All right, well, here's another butterfly to our list for the day. That's Arinus. I believe it is Juvenalis. Tough to tell, I think it's Juvenalis. That's the one that lives around here. And spread wing skipper. Also love Biden, that's a fresh one. Oh yeah, that's a fresh one there. Marinus Juvenalis. Oh, cool. He's unconcerned that I'm sitting right there. That's awesome. Thank you for letting me get some video. Guys, hope you like this video. We, it's a short one. You know, I just came for a little walk, get some exercise. Uh, it's a park near my house, urban Broward County, but it's a disc golf trail. Hyalophia phileus, the fiery skipper. He's got some miles on him, but it's another species nonetheless. All right, I'm in hot pursuit of a monarch butterfly. Where'd he go? Spinning my wheels, chasing monarchs. There he is. Chasing monarchs. Yeah, fall, oh, there's two now. Or is that a queen? I believe that is a very, very old queen butterfly. Yeah. Or is that a soldier? Let me see if I can get around the other side and look. See if he's gonna get me, or let me get close. That's a queen. No, nope. soldier. There's our soldier, guys. Danaeus erissimus. So, looks very similar to the queen. But, let's see, they've got some pale colored markings on the, oh no, no, I take it back. It's just a worn queen. It's a queen. Okay. Well, she's got some miles on her, so that's why it's tough to tell apart. Not easy, guys. Identification of Lepidoptera, you know, it's not easy. You know, these things are flying around and... Wing variations are, you know, they're variable. A lot of species are variable. And a lot of times it's really tough to actually tell them apart. Oh, look at this. How, how close will this iguana let me get? Not very close. The iguanas are great swimmers, by the way. Watch, he's gone. <laughs> I'm not even sure where he went. Oh, he went over this way. Uh, well, it's another invasive species here, by the way. Iguanas aren't supposed to be here. Yeah, okay. So, hope you like the video, guys. Um, like I said, Broward County, urban Broward County, just walk, going for a walk, getting some exercise, and got to see some really, really cool uh, bugs. And so, if you like the video, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Uh, I've got great content coming out, guys, so don't miss out on the action. So make sure you hit the bell for notifications. Oh, don't step on the fire ant pile. So that when we put out new videos teaching you about the butterflies and moths of South Florida and beyond, uh, that you won't miss any of the action. So guys, take care. 
Hope you stay safe and let's get out there and enjoy South Florida and let's go find some bugs. Take care.